Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. My name is Christy, and I like to have a good time over here. Today's video is actually going to be super simple and quick and just about brows. I've had a lot of you ask me if I could do an updated brow routine, so here she is. <laughs> my routine is actually a lot less products and a lot quicker, honestly, so I've just used the Precise My Brow Pencil and the 24 Hour Brow Setter, both from Benefit, but this is all I use, whether I'm doing like my everyday or if I'm doing a full-on glam. It's just really easy, I'm comfortable with it, and it gives me the brows that I want, you know what I mean? So it is just, like I said, super simple, super quick, but I kind of go through how I start and like shape and then finish them. So if I see how I do my brows, then just please keep watching. All right guys, I have you super zoomed in right now. You can see like everything on my face, so don't judge me. <laughs> so for my brows, I think all of you know by now that I always use the Precise in My Brow Pencil. It is just my absolute favorite thing of life. I still use shade 4.5. So I always end up starting with my right brow just because, I don't know. <laughs> I always start with this side first. Now I feel like my camera's gonna be like focusing in and out a bit, I'm sorry. Um, but I have it really close up. Now I always start with the spoolie. So I actually have to start kind of right here in the center of my brow and I like to build up the bottom first because I feel like I have more control that way because when I spoolie it again, I push the product up. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do my brow. <laughs> And again, I like to start about right here, and I'm just gonna do some little like hair-like strokes. And I'm using a super light pressure. I'm not applying too much product at once because we will go back through in a minute and kind of carve out the brow. But I like to get a few little hair like strokes first just to kind of get the base going. And then I'm gonna go right at the front end of my brow. And I'm gonna start and very lightly start that line. And again, I like to spoolie it. Every time you spoolie the product, it kind of helps fade it and not look so harsh. And then I'm gonna start by just doing little hair-like motions again right at the front. And for me, I really like to take my time with my brow because I like to really just fill in. I don't like just doing like really just stark lines. I like to do the hair like strokes. It takes a little bit longer, but I feel like it gives you more of a natural look and not just a block brow. And once I get to the top up here, that's when we're more like, we're gonna define it a little bit more, but it's not just gonna be like so much product and a lot of buildup. And you can actually see right here, this is where my brow hairs start, but they're just super sparse. And that's why I like this pencil is because I'm able to just draw like the super thin lines. Oh, <laughs> I got another freckle. So now that I like how the base of the bottom of the brow is going, I'm gonna go ahead and start on the top of the brow. And this is where I again do hair like strokes, but I'm gonna go why is it focusing on my earring? <laughs> there we go. So now that the base of the brow is pretty much structured how I want it, and I'm gonna go into the top of the brow. Again, I'm gonna start about in the center, and I'm still gonna do little hair-like strokes, but they're gonna be a little bit longer. Again, I'm still doing a super light hand, but they're gonna start going downward. So I'm following the direction of my actual hairs. And again, I'm gonna spoolie that through so it's not building up. And then do the arch of the brow. And 
And I will say the tail of my brow is where I have the most product, I feel like, because I do like it to be kind of more structured. But again, if I see any product buildup, that's when I use the spoolie to just correct that. And then I kind of go in and just fill in where it's needed, where it's needed. Now I will say I do always look at a further away mirror as well as a little close up mirror because what you're looking at really close up isn't always the shape that you're gonna want. Like right now I feel like I have way too much of an arch right here. So the way I like to correct that is just going back in and just straightening that out right here. And then you have a little bit less of an arch. Now I do feel like I'm missing some right here, like it's dipping down a little bit. So again, I'm just gonna take a little bit more. So you can obviously tell a huge difference just with the Precise My Brow Pencil. I love how it fills everything in, but it's still thin enough to where I can get like the hair like strokes in the center. And it's just my baby, I love it so much. So <laughs> now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to carve out the bottom. Now if it was a little bit more messy, I would actually go in with concealer, but this is not too bad today. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of my face powder and a Makeup Shack T48, it's my favorite brush ever. And I just go right underneath to kind of clean up anything. And then I'll also go on the tail of the brow just to make sure it's clean. So now that I'm done with the pencil and everything, this is when I go in with the 24 hour brow setter. I use this or the Gimme Brow. I honestly like the 24 hour brow setter a little bit better just because I feel like the Gimme Brow puts a little too much product on when I already have the shape and feel that I want. So this is my everyday favorite. If I want a little bit more dramatic of a brow, then I will use Gimme Brow. But I love this one because it has, I'm just gonna show up. So you can see it has long bristles and short bristles. I like to use this side just because I feel like it gets more product in my brows. And I just like to start by just going straight up and then I'll kind of fan them outward until I get to the tail of the brow. And then of course I kind of bring them down. And that's pretty much my entire brow routine. I do the same brow every single day. So I like a little bit more of an arched brow. I've done a really good like straight brow for a while, but I like to have a little bit of an arch for a little bit more of just a dramatic look to the brow. And I like, again, a faded kind of just hair-like look and then it goes into like a structured brow. And that's my favorite right now. It kind of changes though. You'll see a really straight brow on me and then I'll go to a bit more of a less kind of structured brow, more of a, like maybe a little bit more feathered. I don't know, it kind of depends on my mood and how good my brows are wanting to really cooperate that day. But I pretty much do the same brow every day. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this one. Now I will say this brow is not my friend. This one is the mean brow. <laughs> this one always seems to cooperate, but we'll see how this one plays today. I end up doing this one a little bit quicker, I feel like, because I know it never works for me. Alright guys, that is it for my brow routine. Super quick, super easy, like I said. But I really hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. It does help me out so much. Of course, leave a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite brow product is. I need to know. 
Other than that, make sure you subscribe before you leave and hit the little bell notification too so you miss another uploads from me and I will see you in my next video. Bye!